Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at identifying conjugate bases and conjugate acids. So I want you to be able to understand how do you determine the charge. So we're going to take H3PO4 as our starting example. So just to remind you, if we have to find a conjugate base, it means the substance is acting as an acid. So in your head, we're talking about Bronsted Lowry then we're saying it is a proton donor. So that means it is going to lose one proton. So we're subtracting a H plus from your structure. So how do we figure that out? So I think that if you're having difficulty with it, what you need to do is break these down into what they are. So H3 is actually three H pluses or three protons, and PO4 is a complex ion, and it is going to be a three negative. So if this is acting as an acid, and we have to turn it into its conjugate base, we are subtracting a H plus. So we're getting rid of one of these guys, and what's left over. So down here, I now have two plus, and I have three negatives, and two positives will cancel out two of these negatives leaving me with one negative left over so i am then writing it as h2po4 minus i'm hoping that makes some sense so we're going to try another example and make it a little bit more complicated so we're going to look at hco3 minus so again, this is acting as an acid. It is going to lose a H plus. What's going to be the overall charge? So we're going to break this down into, I now have one H plus in here and CO3 is another complex ion. So this is why you have to learn them folks. And it is two minus. So if I'm getting rid of my H plus, cause there's only one of them here, then it must mean this is what the conjugate base is going to be. Let's see now do I have any more difficult examples. So we will just try one more. It's going to be something similar. HSO4 minus acting as an acid. So minus H plus. Break this down into what it's going to look like. It's a H plus. SO4 sulfate is a complex ion. It is usually a two neg. So when I get rid of my single H plus, my conjugate base is going to be two minus, SO4 two minus. So now we're going to look at identifying conjugate acids. So what does that mean? That means that something is acting, your substance is acting as a base. And according to Branstead Lowry, a base is a proton acceptor. So we will be adding a H plus onto our final answer. So let us pick something like SH minus because that's something that you might not see. So it's acting as a base. You need to break this down again into its two parts. So we know H is always going to be H plus. Sulfur is in group six. So sulfur is going to be a negative two. We are now going to remove, or sorry, add on a H plus. So when we add on a H plus, it's going to be added on here, which means now these guys cancel each other out. So I'm going to end up with a neutral molecule. So it will be H, sorry, it will actually turn into H2S. We'll get to that another day as to why that is. Um, in terms of the SEC, they will always be giving you more than likely known acids. So phosphoric acid, sulfuric acid, things like this. So again, we'll go down to this one. So this is an ethanoate ion. It is acting as a base. So we are going to be, we are going to have CH3COO minus. We want to add on a proton to that, a H plus. So again, these two guys cancel out and we write 
ethanoic acid like this. So this is the acidic hydrogen and once we do organic it will get a little clearer but most of the other acids we do the H is always in the front. Here for organic compounds your H is always at the end. So let us pick something different. We shall go with N H3. So this is ammonia. It's going to act as a base. So ammonia is a neutral molecule. It has no extra bits onto it. If you break it down into what it is in terms of its charge, that's slightly wrong. It will resemble H plus, H plus, H plus. Now this is not technically true because this is a covalent molecule, but if you look at it in terms of what would the charge be of an ion of it, this will be three minus. So we are now going to, because this is acting as a base, add on another plus. At the moment, these three negatives are cancelled out by these three positives. So the addition is now going to make a charged moiety of NH4 plus. We are going to look at just the last one. We will go with HCO3 minus. So again, acting as a base, but we're going to break it down into what does it actually telling us. So the H is 1H plus. CO3 is a carbonate, which is a complex ion, which is two negative. We are now adding in another H plus because it's acting as a base. So you can see now that these two positive cancel out these two negatives. And now we end up with H2CO3, no charge. So I'm hoping that the last seven minutes have helped you now to work out what, whether or not the conjugate acid or the conjugate base that you are making has a charge or not. And that you currently look like this.